Is it hot where you live? Are your rabbits really suffering in the heat? Today we're going to be looking at different ways that you can keep your rabbits cool during the heat of summer. G'day there, I'm Dana from Pewaukaka Valley Homestead. Today we're going to be looking at some eight different ways that you can keep your bunny rabbits comfortable in the heat of the summer. The very first tip would be location, location, location. It is really recommended that you put your rabbit somewhere cool and shady. Whether you build a external shelter to put their hutches in or, or if you're raising them in a colony, try and set that up somewhere that naturally is quite a shady place. Rabbits will suffer a lot more in the heat than they do in the cold. Rabbits have a very thick fluffy fur but they don't have a great cooling system. They use their ears, they blow some of their blood up through their ears to try and cool off that way. So try and make sure that their housing, wherever it is, is in the shade during the heat of the day if you can. Some ways you can do that is even just to string up some tarps or some shade cloth if you don't have big trees that can act as natural shelters. Some people I know will keep their rabbits out in a colony during 90% of the year but in the actual really, really hot parts they will actually move their rabbits inside into hutches where they can benefit from the cooling that we put into our houses. So if you have an air-conditioned house, it, if it gets really, really hot where you are, moving your rabbits inside might be a beneficial option. Of course, it's not necessary that you keep them inside 24-7. If it's over 30 degrees Celsius or 85 Fahrenheit outside, it's probably too hot for your bunnies. So that is the time, the heat of the day time is a great time to bring them inside and let them cool off. If bringing your rabbits inside to cool down isn't an option, adding some ventilation is the next best thing. Whether you add some fans to wherever they are or make sure that they're set up somewhere that they naturally get some airflow going through. If you're putting the fan somewhere within a hutch or within a colony, you need to make sure that it's up out the way that the rabbits can't reach it. Rabbits will chew through wires as soon as you leave the room. You'll also need to provide somewhere that the, particularly the younger ones, can get out of the way of the fan in case they do get too chilly. Another way to help keep your rabbits cold is to put some bottles of water into the freezer and let them freeze. And then you can sit those into your rabbit colony or one each for a hutch and the rabbits will lie up against them to help cool themselves down. Rabbits can't sweat like humans do. So if you notice a rabbit is panting, their sweat glands are in their mouth. Why they do that, I don't know. But anyway, if you notice a rabbit panting, it means it's probably really, really overheated. And it's quite critical that you take some steps to cool them down as quickly as possible. Bring them inside into an air-conditioned space. You can spray their ears with just a like light misting of water to help cool them down. Lie them next to something really, really cold, either a bottle full of ice or you can put ice cubes in a bag and lie that next to them. Anything to cool them down quite quickly. You'll want to keep cooling them down until they stop panting and then keep them somewhere cool until they've recovered completely. Giving your bunnies a haircut can help reduce the amount of heat that they experience. So taking that woolly coat off is like taking off their juicy and they can cool down a bit more quickly, especially if you have something like an angora rabbit where they have really long, thick fur. Making sure your rabbits have enough cool water is really important if it's quite hot. You can pop ice, big ice blocks into their waterers or you can just make sure they have plenty of fresh cool water. This may mean that you need to top it up twice a day and adding some cool foods can also help them cool down. Always keep in mind that if you're feeling hot, chances are your rabbits are feeling just that much hotter. So maybe take some time this summer to spend some time with them to cool them down, to get them more comfortable. This will ensure that they're comf cool, comfortable and in optimal health. You might find that in the heat of the summer, rabbits actually stop breeding. If it's not c conducive to kits being healthy, the rabbits will often not even breed. So if you get really hot where you are, you might find that your rabbits slow down their breeding process in the very, very middle of the summer. And this can be a really good time for the mothers to take a bit of a break and to gain some extra condition as well. If you'd like to learn more about keeping rabbits in colonies, I've put together a book about raising meat rabbits in colonies and I'll put a link to it down below. And I'm also putting together a list of different videos that I'm doing um, I'm going to do a few a week for the next wee while, just sharing some of the knowledge I have about raising rabbits. 
So I'll put a link to the playlist up at the top. If you've found this video useful, and I hope you have, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing to our channel. We bring you videos twice a week on growing and preserving your own food. I'll see you in the next one.